Now in this topic, we are supposed to find line segments, the missing line segments and also the variables mentioned. Now, this is very easy if you understand what exactly it means. Now, here they have told Y is in between X and Z. So imagine this is a line segment, X and Z. Then Y is somewhere in between. We don't know where exactly. We need to solve that. Now, this is X and this is Z or Z. Now, the value of this, this entire line is 83 units. So now this much is 83. Okay. Now, what about the other dimension? That is X, Y is 11. So that means it's very near. 83 is so much. So somewhere over here. This is 11 and that is Y. And obviously we have to find Y and Z or Y and Z. Okay, this is very straightforward to solve. It is 83 minus 11. We have done similar problems uh, previously in the previous videos. So it is 83 minus 11, that will be 72. But the catch is you need to find the variable as well. They have told Y and Z is mentioned as 4 times C. So what is this 72 equal to? It is 4 times C. So now... All you need to do is divide 72 by 4 and that will be equal to C. So that uh, C would be 20 uh, minus 2, that's 18 would be the value of C. So this is how we can solve it. First answer, if it's the length of X, Y and Z, it is 72 units. If they're asking you the C value, it is 18. So this is how we solve it. Similarly, the other problems can be solved. Just make sure you see what is given and then you can easily solve it up. Let me just uh, draw the diagram over here for this. So X and Z. Okay. Now they have given you Y is the midpoint. So X and Y is known. Wait, the total distance is known. That is 175. And X and Y is known to be 6B. And Y and Z is known to be 8B. Now over here it's not uh, subtracting all you need to do is add these both 6b plus 8b will be equal to 175 so now here add them up it'll be 14b equals 175 if you divide 175 by 14 that would be the answer so over here i think so the table of uh, seven goes so you can simplify it it'll be a fraction so you can see the answer is 12.5 okay so that's the thing now eight see over here this is very important 175 divided by 14 see this is b now once you have found out b i forgot to do the rest all you need to do is what they have asked y and z so eight times b would be the answer so the important thing is find this factor if they just ask for b finish if they have asked for other terms just substitute it back y and z is 8 times b b is 12.5 so 8 times 12.5 would be 100 so this is how we can solve please do try them all and you can check the answers over here all the answers are mentioned